Hello, my name is Ambrose. I've got a pale brown hawk moth caterpillar here. It's just on this leaf. Seems to be on the move. These caterpillars are native to Australia, but they're not found everywhere. They're actually found in small pockets throughout Australia. Look at it go, it's so fast. It tickles. This is in fact the largest caterpillar I have ever seen. And it turns into the largest moth. You might hear some noise in the background. That's because I'm near White's Creek Skate Park. What's awesome about these huge caterpillars is their false eye spots. They're really big and they look like eyes. The eye spots are always visible in some caterpillars, but these caterpillars' false eye spots are generally hidden with just a white line showing. The eye spots on its first abdominal segment are only revealed when the caterpillar is disturbed or moving and unwrinkles its skin by stretching its head forward to show its false eye spots. And that will hopefully deter the predator I've never seen this happen with this species, but apparently they can regurgitate green fluid from their mouths if they're feeling threatened or irritated. You may think, because it has got a dark dorsal horn on their tail, that this might be poisonous or sharp and might hurt you or give you a rash or something, but this is deceiving, as this does not do anything to you. They don't bite or sting either. Here's another pale brown hawk moth caterpillar. The brown ones have dark diagonal patches along their back, on their sides and near their dorsal horn. It's a lovely pattern. This caterpillar also has some other spots near its false eye spots. I bet it's looking for food to eat. As these caterpillars will eat so much in a day. He eats grape vine leaves. Let's watch it eat for a while. Now, I would like to show you their grass. Here it is. Look how big it is compared to a matchstick. Oh, it's doing it. The brown caterpillar has just expelled a big pellet of frass, aka poo. Let's take a look at it. It's quite an interesting shape. Look how it moves along. Its feet look really cute. It's got a suction cup, such a good grip. Oh, look at the underneath of him. There we are. These oval shaped openings are their spiracles. Right there. Spiracles are external openings used for respiration. Every time the caterpillar moves, each segment is compressed and extended. And that movement causes oxygen to be drawn in and carbon dioxide to be expelled. After the caterpillars have grown to 10 centimeters, They find a place in the leaves of their food plant to pupate. This can occur in the vine or down in the leaf litter. They use the silk to hold the leaves together to make a small compartment. They're over about two days, they will transform into a pupa. About two weeks later, the moth will emerge from the pupa and find a vertical position to rest so its wings can extend, dry, and harden. The adult moth's body length is about 50 millimeters, five centimeters, and it has a wingspan of about 70 millimeters. Let's take a look at it. As you can see, this is really big. The moths are pale brown in color, with two dark brown lines on their forelimbs. Here are his spiracles, how he breathes. 
What's awesome about this pork moth is that the moth has really big dark eyes. There is about 850 species of pork moths worldwide. Australia has 65 species of them. There are 21 species of them in Sydney where I live. Here are a few other hawk moth species. This is a bee hawk moth with its translucent wings. And this is a Kong volvolus hawk moth. And this one here is a Hippotium scrofa. The moth's horstolum is kept coiled under its head as a proboscis until it hovers in front of flowers and inserts its horstolum into the flower to suck some nectar. So, I better say goodbye. Thanks for watching and bye for now. I'll see you on our next adventure. Subscribe and you can join me on our next adventure. Bye.